Hello, friends. This is episode eight. I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hi, I'm Ronnie. And I'm Lisa McIntyre. Welcome to Working Wonders. Uh, today, we're going to be discussing job prep. Uh, who wants to go first? We were just drawing straws for that before uh, we went live. <laughs> what did you guys decide on? Next week. Um, I'll go first. I'll go first. Okay, um, Ronnie. So, uh, so when, once, uh, as far as um, prepping and taking orders. So I have two different ways that I do it. I have one which we have um, set up, and I know uh, if you've joined us before, I talked about where in 2020 I was able to pivot and do a lot of no contact balloon deliveries. So those are actually something that people can go to a website, they can add their order to a cart and everything gets processed through the website. And the thing that made me want to be able to really do that was that I was able to go to my inventory that I have on hand, say I have five of these types of mylars, I have you know six of these types, make a design um, using Canva and put it on the website. And I knew that I had that much inventory. And once it got low stock, I could either restock or if somebody had a custom order, then they know that everything takes four business days to process. And that was something that we came up with because I had somebody who wanted a, a customized order. That wasn't something that I offered on the website yet that I'd never thought about. It was pizza and gaming. Do you and funnel so, everybody to your website or um, trying to. You... I'm trying I'm trying to start funneling everybody because everything is for the most part for me it's those those co no contact deliveries were that that was my bread and butter last year. Um it was it was my party poll. So where other people were doing party polls, you know, here in Las Vegas and Henderson, we don't have yards that we can stick poles in and I did have somebody <laughs> Uh, that contacted me about doing one. And I was like, it's 115 degrees outside. I'm not sticking a mylar in on a pole and then putting it in the direct sunlight. It's a waste of your money. Um, and so that's where the whole, the whole non -co no contact came in. Uh, there are still things, you know, arches and, and the standard bigger things. Um, I can't filter that through the website because there's so many different options as far as the colors and the sizings and things like that. <laughs> Right. where I, what I liked about it and what I noticed was that myself, the biggest thing is everybody was doing delivery or pickup and I could, you know, I go to Walmart, I go to the app, I add everything to the cart and then I pull up and I pick it up and it's the convenience that I wanted to be able to put, you know, give people the convenience with the balloons. So there's not a lot of customizing on those. If they do want something customized, they can contact me directly and I will actually make a listing specially for them within the price range that they want to be in. Now, do uh, the rest of you guys like generally send them? To, I personally don't have a website or e-commerce site or anything set up. Do the, do all three of you guys have that? Wait, wait, I don't wait. have an e-commerce site. No, I have a website. But aren't you adding stuff for Valentine's Day now? Yeah, but I don't, so I don't want, I haven't done the e-commerce site for all designs. So what we have is we have a contact form that they fill out. And with the contact form, it gives us, you know, their name, their phone number, their email address, um, the date of their event, the address of their events, um, what type of event it is. And then there's also a spot on there that they can attach um, inspirational photos. So if they've seen something on Pinterest or whatever, then they can attach it right to that form. Well, that's right. Really um, that's a very cool, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think we can do that, but I'm gonna. Yeah, and the only, I really like that option. I love yeah, that. Yeah, the that's only option, thing that's that I wanna add. Yeah, the only thing that's not required on that contact form is them attaching those pictures. So all those other um boxes if you will I can't think <laughs> Field, fields. for lack of a better fields, field that's the right word yes, there you fields, go. thank you um all of those fields are required so yeah. it takes so much work out for me to and the back and forth back and forth all the time um so when I get the email all of that information is already populated and then we can discuss do you have designs. a phone number though where they can call you no. So we have completely transitioned away from um, phone contact. I want everything documented. So we're so, also 
trying to funnel everybody through the website. We also have a contact form. We also don't do e-commerce. Right. But um, I can't stand this back and forth in email. Like I would so much rather talk to some, I, I would like to train them to contact me first through email to have an idea of what I'm calling you about. And I can have intelligent answers to the things that you want to do. Right. But I, I like to talk to my customers. I don't like to talk to my customers. I feel I need to talk to my customers because otherwise it's like 45 emails for something that a three minute phone conversation would, yeah, would. I haven't ex I haven't experienced that. It's cut down in a lot of the back and forth with me, um, having the contact form with the required fields to be populated. But, and so as is also most of those fields are required to be populated. Right. But they, but there's still there's so many questions. This, like they think they want an arch or they think they, you know, and then they see something else on your website and they change their mind. Like how do you? There's so much back and forth. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. No, well, I, I think I, another. I hate I hate the back and forth on the email because it takes yeah. so long to get a response. That we've actually programmed a lot of our agents that we talk to. They'll text me, um, and so instead, in place of email, we actually text back and forth instead of calling. But and we also do that so that everything has some kind of a document to it because of the fact that I have had people, you know, and it's it, it's really only happened twice in in four years, so it's not it's not too bad where they have ordered, you know, a garland and it's 10 feet and they sent me a picture and I sent them a confirmation picture and then I sent them a contract, I make the thing and then they're like, oh, I thought that it was gonna go all the way to the ground. Like, no, 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 if you check your text messages and you right. see the photo that you sent me and you see the photo that I sent you back and then I told you that this is only 10 feet but if it was a full arch, it'd be 20 feet and you said that this is what you wanted, that's what I went with. And only twice have I had to actually like go, um, no, 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 check your text messages. Other than that, people are like, oh, I thought it was like, oh, no, 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 it was only half, Never mind. So but, let me ask yeah, you no. guys a, a technical question. So if somebody texts you, do you put them in right away as a contact? Because I find what happens is somebody gets my number randomly and they text me and we do a little back and forth text and then we end up going to email and then I want to find what they text me and I have to search all over for their phone number because I don't remember who they were. I've yeah, got a really good uh, said oh. that somebody told me, sorry to interrupt you, Lisa. Um, somebody told me or somebody said when when they get, I think it was Katie Burns, um, Brian, Bert, how do you Burns. say the last name? Yeah, Burns. Burns. Uh, Burns. I, I think it was her, but don't I don't remember, but somebody said, as soon as they talk to somebody, as soon as somebody texts me and they say, hey, I have a baby shower on this day, I put in the contact field, you know, Laura, uh, February 21st, baby shower. So that oh, when the text a... message comes up or if the phone call, like if it comes up, I know that that's not a new customer. That's somebody that I have talked to about something. And like, we just had somebody who had booked us for their gender reveal. And now she just booked us for her, um, for her baby shower. And I was able to go like, oh, do you want to do the same theme? Just take the pink out. <laughs> and, and so like, I was able to refer back to that. And I knew like, oh, we did her gender reveal on this day. Um, oh, so that's that was a great that was idea. Definitely helpful. I love that. Yeah. And so, it's, it's just, yeah, I can't remember who said that. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember where I heard that. I've got a really good tip that um, you guys may or may not love. Um, so what I do is whenever a client contacts me and I've got that go between with them and, and especially if it's not somebody that's giving me the runaround, um, I say them in my contacts as the letter Z and then whatever their name is. And so whenever I'm looking for my contacts, I just scroll all the way down to Z. There's not a lot of them in there, you know, mm -hmm. as far as like, uh, normal contacts <laughs> with the letter Z. Yeah. And yeah. so there's all my people. And if it is a client that has been a repeat, then they're ZZ and whatever the name is, or ZZZ. I don't go any more than ZZZ. If they got ZZZ, if I ever see anything pop up and it says ZZZ, Joanne, I am answering that phone immediately. Oh, hi, how are you? And it's it's like yeah. my big biggest smile is on because of that ZZZ. This is somebody who calls me repeatedly for work. Um, and then in, in much like Ronnie said, in the notes section of that contact is where I will put things like the date and what it is that they've either ordered from me or are ordering from me. Um, and so I can pull that up. If I put them on speakerphone, 
it allows me to actually see my phone at the same time while I'm speaking to them. And right. I have that there. So um, <clears throat> anyway, that's my big tip because yeah, that, I'm I totally the opposite. It. I'm totally the opposite of all of you guys. I don't want to talk to them. I want everything to be written in <laughs> black and white and documented. I also want to move away from my customers constantly talking to me because the goal is to eventually, which will be sooner than later, um, there I'm going to have somebody who's here who's helping me assist with taking orders, answering emails. So I want them, when they're contacting LGM, they're contacting LGM. They're not contacting Stephanie Marquardt. So I was going to show you guys. So I had these printed up. Oh, nice. Oh, they look so great. Um, so these are the company's business cards. So this has our email address on it, which is events at LGM Balloon Decor. And then it has our website on there. It also has all of our social handles on the bottom. And nice. then this is my personal business card, which that's great does have my phone number on it. This is my personal contact information. So like when I go to my chamber events or whatever, and I'm networking with other business owners, obviously they're going to get my card, but right. this is for like events or, you know, if we're doing centerpieces or something like that, this is what's going on the bottom of those. Well, and here's um, another question. Uh, do you guys each, cause like I have my own personal phone that only customers that have known me from like day one, like four customers use that. Everybody else gets filtered to the business line. And the business line is one that either um, Dave, who, uh, you know, my husband, he helps manage stuff for me. Uh, either they talk to him or they talk to me. They used to not talk to me at all. They used to just talk to Dave, but then I had to be an adult and I had to put on my big girl pants and answer my own phone. Um, do you have a separate personal line versus a business we have line? A, we have a business line and I actually don't like it when customers call me on my cell phone. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. it. it that's, my, that's my personal life. So what right. happens now is because people want you to send them pictures and sometimes you're on the phone with them and say, can I email it? No, no, no. Could you text it? Once I text it, then they have my, then they have your my personal cell phone. And then when they want to recommend me to somebody, That's they the give they that number, which I, contacts. Yeah. Uh, well, our, my, so, my business line is on my, is on my phone. Um, it's on my cell phone. So I can text oh. pictures. Uh, like we, I, if somebody is texting me, they're texting the business line. Um, like I said, except for those four people. Um, no, everybody's yeah. texting my personal number because this was all like yeah, before exactly. all this technology was around. <laughs> we, yeah. You know, we've had a business phone since we started. I mean, that's that's what gets answered and it doesn't forward. Somebody wants me, they'll leave me a message and I'll call them back. I know that's so old fashioned. So, so uh, I if you have, yeah, I know if you have office hours, definitely like forwarding in the case of an emergency is is the best. Yeah, I have a, um, a 407 area code cell phone that I've had for a number of years. We were military, we bounced around a lot. And um, that was before I began my balloon business. And it is the number that everybody knows. Um, and by everybody, I mean like all of my military family contacts, all of my family, yeah. everybody for the past mm -hmm. 20 years knows that number. Um, so it's not a number I'm willing to get rid of. And it is my cell phone. Um, I live in area code 585. And so uh, before I was really, really in business, like really taking it very seriously, it was mostly doing um, twisting in the restaurant where it really didn't mm -hmm. matter. Um, it didn't matter that I had the 407 area code, but I can't expect people to, you know, accept this business card that has a 407 area code. They're clearly calling Florida. Um, so my home phone is my business line and it is a 585 number. And um, probably for about the last year and a half, easily, it was a little bit before COVID started where I forwarded all of my calls from my home phone, which again is strictly my business line, um, to my cell phone. And it's unfortunate though, because I can't tell whenever a call comes in on my cell phone, whether it's for the business line or my actual cell phone number, right. which is, kind of stinks, but it really doesn't matter now because of COVID. Um, so that's going to be really interesting whenever I, I separate the two again. Um, uh, I used to answer my cell phone, no matter what happened, if somebody called on my cell phone and now it almost every number goes to voicemail, unless, you know, it has a bunch of Z's in front of it or that person's <laughs> already in my uh, contact well, list. 
remember you tried to call me the other day and I, and you were like, I went straight to voicemail. And I'm like, that's because for some reason I didn't save your name in my contacts and a little, little bit offended it, by that, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I was like, how do I know? I'm like, because I just know that's Lisa's number. Like, I just know where your number is. To text. Right. And I was like, Oh, how did I not like, I don't actually have you added to my contact. Well, and so sometimes people yeah, are expecting a call straight. from me and they know I'm mm -hmm. in New York and then they, it pops up and as Orlando, Florida, and they're like, you know, yeah. and apparently a lot of spam comes out of Orlando. So sorry. And my husband like never answers his cell phone or the house phone and the house phone never. And if never, if it's a number he doesn't recognize. And I yeah. always do because I never know who's at the other end. Right. I always do if it's, if it's ringing on the, on the business line. Cause we have um so that, and that's the other Dave has for his magic, he has his personal phone. And then we just found out, I guess, with the new phones, you could put two SIM cards in it. So right. he actually has two phone numbers that are ringing to his phone. I don't know how he separates the two. I have- a, I think you see the number when it rings. I think, Very I don't know, but like I have a, I have an app for the business line. Um, and so the app basically notifies me that I'm getting a call or a text and I do everything uh, through the, it's like Facebook Messenger basically, but it's, it's a, the Google, it's a Google line. Um, okay, we're so gonna have to do so, a separate yeah. episode on this kind of stuff, and I'm gonna have right. to phone yeah, and you're gonna... <laughs> okay. So going back, going back to job prep. So yes. for and us I, I do. If, if I could uh, interrupt you guys again, real quick, um, because there's a couple things that popped up in the chat since um we started this, and uh, Steve had a pretty fair um a concern about uh, he says he worries about hackers using the inspiration option to attach files um with malware and viruses which is really, truly unfortunate. Um, oh. And I, I, yeah, I always look at that as kind of like the cost of doing business too. You know, I mean, it's uh, right. my business have, pays for my, spam... my virus protection on my computer because of that. Um, yeah, we have a malware protection on the computer. So it alerts me if the photo possibly might be, it'll say, you know, I'll get a, a disclaimer at the top that says this message may contain um, Malicious content. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's not that, but it's, you know, I can't remember exactly what the word is, but yeah, it'll be a red bar that pops up at the top. And then um, a, a, good few people, a few people agreed with, I believe it was Ronnie um, that said, you know, won everything in black and white, which I wholeheartedly agree. Um, and Jenny West, me. yeah. oh, I'm sorry, Stephanie. Um, Jenny West said, uh, if I do talk on the phone, I take all my notes and then I text it back to them for confirmation of what we discussed. I do something similar. Generally, it's an email per yeah, our Dave, phone Dave conversation. Do yeah. Da, 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 yeah. Da, da, da. So that way, uh -huh. if they have a problem with it, it's like I sent that to you right then and there. Um, so uh, I just want to make sure we got those out before we got to, to another thing I have to be better at. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and okay, the, thing, the so, difference the difference is that because like Debbie, like like you've said before, like you work with a lot of people who know you. It's like it's a very it's yeah. a you're, it's a community thing. And where you know where I am, I get a lot of I don't want to say transients. That sounds that's not the right word, but tourists. <laughs> like I really do get yes. a lot of tourists that that are coming in and they're just like, oh, I just want do something dropped off to my Bellagio hotel room. You know, they're yeah. I'm just another I'm just another vendor to them, and right. they don't they don't care if they're trying to screw me over, and that would and it's like oh no, remember we texted, remember that picture, <laughs> remember yeah. that thing, like you know, then I, true, and it's like yeah, and so just because I uh I do get the even number of repeat customers that are you know the mm -hmm. awesome the awesome clients that are that I'm gonna get to work with for hopefully years. But I, right. I've got to do multiple things, and then the people that it's like I'm just a, you know, a, a, a bump in the night to them, <laughs> and those are the people that I worry about. All right, so Stephanie was talking about her job. Prep. Bring us back to job prep. <laughs> yeah, prep okay. Yeah, just, just so, back to job prep. <laughs> so for LGM, this is the way that we do things. So they fill out the contact <laughs> form. If they text message us, if they Facebook message us, they're directed directly to the website. They fill out the contact form. It goes to our email address. Um, minimal communication back and forth. I figure out exactly what they want. Um, it also helps a lot that our price sheet is on our website. So they kind of have an idea of their prices or our, our prices, excuse me. Um, and that takes a lot of the guessing game out of it for me as well for them. Um, from there, once we get the order confirmed, they are sent over a contract. Everything that comes out of my shop, they get a contract for it. 
um, whether it's $25, whether it's $250, whether it's $2,500, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, basically what's in my contract now, and it has ever been changing since 2020, I'm constantly calling our attorney to add little clauses into it. Um, we have everything from balloon care, expectations of balloons, um, our delivery clauses in there, our COVID clauses in there, which is huge. Um, our refund policy, our deposit policy, all of that is all encompassing. They have to check a box that it says, I agree to the terms of this contract before they can ever even pay me. That is included in with their invoice. I invoice everything through Square. That's who we use through our POS, for our, POS our point of sale system. Um, so the contract is attached to their invoice. They pay directly through Square. I don't do Venmo. I don't do Cash App. I don't do PayPal. I don't do any of that. Everything goes through Square. Um, from there, I have, once their invoice is paid, I have these clear envelopes. I don't, I have an invoice, but it's across the room. So their invoice goes in here, and then I pull, I'm going to try to, yeah. so it's a nice, it's a nice big, you know, nine by 12 envelope. All of their stuff goes in here. I pull all their latex, I pull their mylars, I pull whatever. If I don't have something in stock, I put a red card in here so that I know. Wait, you put a sample missing. of the color or you put all, like how do no, you- No, I pull their whole order. I pull their how whole How do you do that order. if it's an arch or something? Like how does it fit in that envelope? I, so if it's a 20 foot arch and I need 144 balloons, I put a, it, they fit in here. It stretches quite big. Okay. Um, if there's something, if there's two, like I've had it before for like bridal showers and stuff, then I'll just attach two. And then I have my little um, clamps, you know, then. Yeah. And you stick two together. Yeah. Two will get clamped together. Yeah. Um, and that way I know. You know, so if last minute orders come in, I'm not pulling from this job. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how I do the orders. Everything, so our uh, Outlook calendar, that's what we use for our email. That's where our contact information comes from off of our website is to Microsoft Outlook. Our Outlook calendar and our Square are linked. So everything automatically populates to my Outlook calendar once it's paid and I confirm that it can go on there. I also have that app downloaded on my phone. So every Sunday night, I will print out what my schedule is for the week based off of my Outlook calendar. And then that I confirm with everything. And then I go back to these and I confirm. Um, if inventory, we do inventory um, every Monday, I do inventory. If there's something that I need to order, um, I put it right in my cart and I will do, um, I place my orders on Wednesday. So from Monday to Wednesday, Wednesday is when I place my orders. We are probably going to be switching that. So I'm gonna be placing the orders on Tuesday because I got myself into a little bit of a sticky situation last week. Um, and so it's just something with COVID, like you have to allow now for more days of shipping, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um, but we do keep a very good stack of inventory. So each of my colors, yeah. I typically keep three bags of each size, five inch, nine inch, 11 inch, 16 inch. And I don't keep a huge stack of 24 inch and um, three footers, mm -hmm. but I do have a decent amount of them that I could pull from them if I needed to. Um, and then obviously with like each one of our letters, like the 14 inch letters and numbers, we keep four, uh, three packs of those. So we have 15 on hand at all times. Um, and then whenever I just need to. You have replenish. 15 of each letter and number in both sizes? In uh, silver and gold and the 14 inch, yes. Now, what about so the big ones? The big ones, <clears throat> um, I keep five of them. <laughs> I don't, I don't keep an inventory of 42 inch, um, letters. I only keep an inventory of 42 inch numbers. So typically if it's a lot, if it's, I have some letters from jobs, you know, custom jobs that I've done. Mm -hmm. And then obviously you, you know, you always order more than what you need in case there's defects. Right. Um, so, and that's just been over the past couple of years of building up an inventory. 
Um, but yeah, the 14 inch, we go through those pretty frequently, especially um, in, in warmer weathers with doing yard art displays. So um, I probably will ramp those up to five packages of five especially in the silver, because we go through the silver much more than we do the gold. Um, but that's definitely, you know, I always have those on hand. That's big. Mm -hmm. And they're really, they're nice to have on hand because I charge $5 a letter. So that's a really good upsell to add on to things. Yeah. Um, you know, if somebody orders a marquee and they want to add their child's name onto it, you can easily add on an extra 30 to $35, depending on the kid's name to your order. Um, I'm we going charge more. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, it's a good addition. Do you keep any of the rainbow? I keep silver and rainbow, uh, in the, in the 16 inch letters that are the, the numbers, I have, um, for the, for the website. Yeah. I only do. I also have an inventory of the jelly ombres. Those are the only ones that I keep an inventory of. Yeah. Um, I like those. I do. I would like to start getting some of the, um, <clears throat> for the 42 inch ones I really like the new um uh, ombre like rainbow ones I think I that love those, those are really cute They're yeah so cute um but for the most part silver and gold you know that does the mm -hmm. trick um it's interesting and... to me how similar and different our systems are like it's yeah. the same type of system right but total but like totally I pulled a whole bag though like where you're like like I know exactly how many I'm pulling for a job like if I have a column if I have two columns I'm pulling if it's two colors I pull an entire bag and throw the the entire bag like if I have an open bag I'm gonna throw that in there first and use that first um but I take I I will take a whole uh bag and put it aside and go like okay like I have I have a whole bag to make two columns if for some reason something happens after I make those columns, I can make a whole nother set of columns. Uh, and yeah, that, so I that, pull, yeah. like when I'm pulling for a job, so let's say like today, the one of the last ones that I just said was a unicorn head. So I pull all the latex plus five of each color. So if they're getting four colors, mm -hmm. let's just say today, this one was four. Um, I pull whatever I know I'm going to need. So I did a five tiered party pull with uh, two tiered base. Mm -hmm. um, so I pulled all of those colors that I needed plus five of each color that goes in here. Two unicorn heads go in here. And so then when I'm delivering, I take this with me and mm -hmm. everything stays nice and neat in here. And I have a roll bin that has a pop-up handle. That's my, I like to call it my oh shit kit. Yep, I have an oh shit bag. <laughs> In case something happens, um, yep. it's actually, yep. if anyone, this is the best thing that I found. If you go to Michael's, if you go into the scrapbook section, they have these, the big box for scrapbookers and they yeah. have all sorts of little compartments on the sides that you can put scissors in, that you can mm -hmm. put rubber bands in, glue dots, extra 260s, um, tape, whatever, duct tape, tape any, anything that tape. you need. Your gaffers we'll probably be getting tape, into yes. that. Uh, next, next month, next we're week. going to be doing right. a, uh, yeah. a episode on, mm -hmm. on um, things we carry to sites. So make sure you, right. you so show that off. So then these go in order. So now, will you in... pull that order, even if it's, let's say, six weeks from now? You'll pull it even right as away? As soon as it's paid, as soon as it's paid, it gets pulled. Yeah. Because the problem, and I, so, and you guys have to also understand, <clears> this was, learn as you go like this is stuff that's Every, all, everybody does but yeah i right. yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, yeah I'm, is... I'm the same way especially now right. with like colors being hard to find it's like i might need that six weeks to find that that color if i need to order it so now i'm like i want to make sure if something's coming from you know across the so, the, the u.s right. site, but what i time don't to get to happen, me and what has happened before is that if i take an order and it's somebody who's planning for a birthday party and they're wanting, you know, a Lego, Lego themes, let's just say. And I know I'm like, oh, I have, I have Lego Mylars. I have the guy, you know, and that's mm -hmm. what they're looking for. And then over the course of six weeks, then I have four more orders that come in for Lego and I'm pulling, 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 pulling. And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden it's Sunday night and I'm getting ready for my job for the, for that coming week. And I'm like, 
oh shit, I don't have any more Legos. I used them all over the past six weeks. Yeah. And then for my delivery, that's on Tuesday. Now it's Sunday night and I'm scrambling around. So as soon as it's paid for, it gets pulled. Yep. So no questions we, we don't use envelopes. We use milk crates. Okay. And we also generally put, we generally pull it about two weeks before the party. If it's something unusual, let's say like a Lego balloon, which I might not keep in stock, that will put on the side as soon as the person you know, orders it even, even before it's paid, that I know right. that, that I know that I have it for them. Um, if it's an unusual latex that I don't usually carry, but we also, we keep two, three bags of 11 inch for sure. And five inch, nine inch, not so much and 16 inch also. Um, and we have a lot of three footers. We keep a lot, whatever we need to order. We always order three or four more. So yeah, there's yeah. always, you know, okay. excess. Always. we, we got, we got called today at four o'clock in the afternoon for a job for tomorrow morning at nine, uh, a 24 foot arch and four columns. And we have it here because we don't yeah. wait, you know, because we never let any, any bin get too low. So we put it all in a, in a milk crate with the invoice in there. So we remember who it is. We pull all the letters, we pull all the mylar, but we only do that like two weeks before. We also order, we order on Tuesdays. We actually mm -hmm. usually put our order together over the week, but Monday night is when we like finalize for the following weekend. And we, um, and we order on Tuesdays because then I usually get it on Wednesday, but I have the COVID possibility or the Christmas possibility right. or the, the UPS man is tired possibility. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll get it yeah. Though I have to tell you, we, we besides tipping in Christmas time about six, eight weeks before that, maybe in October, we, we tipped him and he like, he was shot. We gave him 25 bucks and he like, wow. I said, we appreciate, we had told him a couple weeks before that, that I was always getting UPS at like 8.30 at night, mm -hmm. which is really just not good. So we told him like, I see his truck. I watch it, you know, on the little map. I said, if you find, if any time you can deliver to us or to earlier, we would appreciate. So he started delivering like between like 11 and three so we well, we, see you're yeah. you're a home based business uh -huh. and generally they that's low priority is is a home that. residential right. address residential right I, I ran that. into I'm that across, problem I'm across the street from like garden apartments mm -hmm. and that's like usually a big part of the truck mm -hmm. so they want to do that at the end because they yeah. they have to go up and down the stairs anyhow yeah. he started really yeah. for the most part delivering to us earlier and he actually rang my bell after we gave him that money and thanked me. I think he thought it would be like ten dollars, and then we tipped him again Christmas time nicely. That's more than nice. That's good. Yeah. And, and yeah. You know, if I if I knew who my UPS guy I was, I definitely because... would tip him. He... At the beginning of COVID, we had, and this was not balloon related at all. But at the beginning of COVID, you know, my business was shut down. Um, but I was ordering everything online, and I had UPS, FedEx, and Amazon, of course, just basically at my house every day, and. Mm -hmm. right. um, long story short, I had those, um, those Purell, uh, yeah, hand the sanitizers yeah. that like, ha yeah. they were in the little rubbery thing that would like clip to, like, I have it. Here we go. These things. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. And, Love um, yep. <clears throat> so, uh, long story short, uh, there was, I was at a convention where everybody got the flu. And so I bought something like, I don't know, 20 or 30 of those to pass out the next time I went to a convention and I had like balloon animal stickers to put on them to like hand them out to my friends and go just kind of like a tongue in cheek like so we don't get sick this time guys um mm -hmm. <clears throat> long story short ended up not passing those out and now here we've got COVID and I have this box of like 30 of these things and so that was I made sure that you know I had one on each of my kids and I had one on you know my water bottle which goes with me everywhere and then every delivery person that came to my door, if I could catch them, I would go running out after them and go, wait, wait, wait here and give it to them. And it was much appreciated. Um, none of my stuff ended up in the mud. You know, um, I got a nice little knock on the door or the doorbell ring for the longest time. And it just, you know, you take care of your people. They they'll they'll generally take care of you. Yeah. With the best we, I have a basket of snacks outside. Oh, like that's so sweet. individual, like packaged, like chips and cookies and all kinds of stuff like that. But I've always done that, even like pre COVID. Um, that's very sweet. Yeah. Um, and so then in got... the summer, we'll 
throw like a cooler with water and stuff in, out there. We've got something here from the, um, the comment section. Um, Dina Ashley says, if you do most of your orders online, how do you keep the numbers manageable per day? There are so many hours in a day and you can only do so much. Does this order, sorry, does the order not go through until you confirm it? Yes, nothing comes, nothing gets uh, put on my schedule until I confirm it. I have, so, uh, I have the ability to, to block out dates. Yeah, so I can, so Outlook will send me a notification and it'll say this event conflicts with another event that I already have in my schedule. So before I ever even tell my customer, like, this is your delivery time, like I pull up my calendar first so that I can quote them a delivery time. Now we also do something different. And I know that a lot of people aren't the same way as this. I, for deliveries, I do not give people, uh, we'll be there at 10 o'clock in the morning time. If you have an event, like a bridal shower, a baby shower, something on a larger scale, yes, of course, we'll have a set. This is what time we're going to be there, you know. Um, mm -hmm. that up. But if somebody orders, you know, if I'm delivering a $90 column, I give them a range and it's always an hour range. Sometimes depending on how busy I am, I'll, you know, getting close to graduation season though, if they have a deliverable, they're getting a two hour range. So I'll say we'll deliver between 10 and noon. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also a delivery clause in my contract. So we make three points of contact. If we go to deliver and you're not there, we make three points of contact. We will um, call you, we will email you, and then if, you know, we'll Facebook message you, however. Um, typically now that we've moved away from Facebook, it'll, it's just gonna be call or email. Um, after that- Do you actually if, have that be an issue where you go to do the delivery oh, and yeah. somebody's not I just, there? I just had it the other day. Wow. Just had it the other day. And I always send, uh, they also okay. get a notification when we're in route to them. So it'll say your balloon delivery is en route so that they know to kind of expect, you know, when we're going to come and I have that do it a half an hour before. Mm -hmm. um, because do you guys I call them I the day plan. before to confirm? No, they get an email. It depends okay. on how early the, uh, the delivery is. And for my deliverables and for my regular setups, they're both pretty different like they're 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 pretty they're pretty much like polar opposites as as far as the way that I do the those setups the way that I do my regular ones is is almost exactly how Stephanie does it yeah they're like so like I, here's like here's all your stuff here's your window like yeah, here's I never your, you know, I'm yeah. be there at 10 if it's a party yeah, no. always a window there. always mm -hmm. But for the but for the deliverables, I actually have a where they can they can pick the time and the date. And if I know that there's going to be an event or if I'm going to be out of town, I actually have the ability on that on the deliverables website to eliminate days. Um, so like for New Year's Eve, I the deliveries for those were just the 30th and 31st. That was it. Those are the only two delivery options. And I, I'm getting ready to go live with like two Valentine's Day things. But it's like this is it. These are your these are your two or three day options that you can have it on the twelfth, the thirteenth, or the fourteenth. That's it. Right. Like these are these are the three days that you can have these specific things because I don't want anybody to order it too soon, and I don't want I don't want it to be um, too late. Uh, and then we it has on the things that I know that I'm going to have to order or I might have to order something special for. Um, it says on there like for business days. So it says the description of what the deliverable is. So like if it's a the dinosaur one, it says like T-Rex four days. And that's in case something happens and I don't have the 34 inch number in stock and I have to if I have to get that delivered. But for the most part, if if people like people will see that and they'll text and I'll be like, hey, can I can I order this for a day after tomorrow? And I will go to my inventory and go, oh yeah, I've got to go ahead and place the order. Um, so fortunately, like knock on wood, I, I, those that I specifically have on there that say four business days, people will text and be like, Hey, can I actually get this? Cause I see that it says four business days. So I don't know what I did right in the universe that so far people have been honoring those, <laughs> just that little, Hey, you have to order this like by, you know, by four days. I can't guarantee it. Um, because 
I have to get it. I have to get that um, I delivered to me. Like I, ha- yeah, like I don't have all of that inventory on it. But now every, for the most part, all the stuff that I put um, on that website are things that I do have on hand. Which is what, when you were talking about the uh, this uh, the fourteen inch silver and and rainbow, I took all of the other options as far as colors out. And it's like, you can have it in silver or you can have it in rainbow. These are your two options because I have all of those on hand. Uh, so I can make that, right. you know, and, and give it to you tomorrow. But Maybe if they want something. Silver and gold, because I, I just don't want to start. Occasionally we right. a few random pink numbers and, but I, I just, I don't, I, I, I can't, like, I can't deal with it. Yeah. yeah as far yeah. as foils are concerned, I really only carry um, silver uh, number ones for baby's first birthday parties. And I, I know that I've covered this before in, in earlier episodes, I do generally pretty low volume um, decor and the decor jobs I do get are either add-ons to my entertaining part of my business, or they are two, three, $5,000 orders from repeat clients where I'm, I'm ordering everything fresh for them anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have, I do have a couple businesses where I'm, always doing stuff in their company colors and i just have whatever's left over from the last job so mm-hmm. um, well, and I, with my with my inventory i know when i started like now like i'm looking in my room and i'm like why do i have like citrine yellow like i don't like that was for a specific job obviously but it's uh on on hand might become a collector I, soon. yeah <laughs> you know they're just they're just sitting there like i'm just gonna inflate them and just have them hanging out in my room because they're great never for double stuffing to, um, I, you know, but that's like that's, more, well, they're, more no, they're, they're 16 inches. I like that was, that was specifically for one specific Turn job. Turn them into sandwich. <laughs> you might be able to find somebody yeah. that's a uh, part of a, I was going to say balloon planet that I think they have to have those in stock in 16 inch, but, um, well, uh, normally like, like my, my big thing when I was building my business was that I wanted to make sure that if somebody called me and they wanted an arch tomorrow, I could offer them at least basic colors. And so it's right. like, yeah, you can have it tomorrow, but you got to pick one of the, you know, six standard rainbow colors, black or white. And like that, that was my big thing is that if somebody calls me for a 35 foot rainbow spiral arch, I can deliver that to them today, you know, and, uh, and then it became, okay, now organic, like people are wanting organic. I need to be able to say like, yes, you can have that 30 foot rainbow or- organic arch tomorrow and not have to have that worries. But if people want more specific colors, like I know that rose gold is a huge color for me. Um, so I make sure to keep that on stock and the agates are like huge. And then of course I push the matte pastels cause I love them. So I keep one of each of those. Um, and for some reason I am obsessed with rosewood. So I always have rosewood in all the sizes on hand. I don't know why I just became obsessed with that color, wow. but it's, it's that. I don't like, think I have a single yeah. rosewood no. balloon Me neither. in Me. my entire, other than yep. like samples or things that have been yeah, given to me at conventions. Me, right. Yep. I wow. have, I have a uh, rosewood and um, matte pastel blue. Uh, I am obsessed with those two colors. Anytime somebody is like, just something in this, in a shade of, I'm like, mm, rosewood. Like, <laughs> I feel like in a shade of blue. I'm like, mm, mess, mess. I, like I, I, love, get, I get genuinely excited that I get to use those colors. <laughs> I love, love, love the clients that, that like just give you artistic license. It's just yeah. like, oh, you're going to like what I'm going to do for you because I'm going to go above and beyond. Um, oh, yeah. And we have so, one agent that's obsessed with rose gold. So I, I keep, I keep rose gold in all sizes specifically for her because I know that that's, she'll call me for something. She'll be like, Do you, can you get this to me in an hour? And I'm like, you pay me a lot. So yes. <laughs> so um, Jenny is taking us into the weeds, which if you guys have watched the show ever, you know, is really easy for us to do. Um, so let's try and answer this one quick so we can get back on the job prep right. uh, okay. track. She says, how do you handle cancellations of fully paid invoices? Uh, do you refund or offer credit? Um, credit. We offer credit depending on, uh, depending on if we've already, if we had to buy special inventory for that job, then that part of it, uh, we deduct from the credit. And if they want to use those specific colors 
for that next job, then it's, then it's fine. They can, they can change the date. Um, and, uh, that's just, that's, that's why I have the, 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 the train yellow. It was for a, a very specific job. And they were like, we specifically want these shades. And so, uh, it was like $200 worth of inventory in these odd colors, um, that are still sitting in, in, I have at least, like I said, like, like, like two, like, yeah, like two, $300 worth of inventory specifically for that job, they can't get that back. Like I can't, when they placed the order for the next job, the colors were completely different. Um, yeah. So you guys so have to, there's something you. that yeah. you guys have to be careful about. So if you deduct from a customer's balance or uh, money that they've paid to you, if you deduct that for inventory, those balloons are their property. Mm -hmm. So if you're keeping that money for inventory that you have, you owe them those balloons. So if that customer takes you to court, that's exactly what the judge is going to say to you. You can't take their money and keep the balloons at the same time. That will not hold up in a court of law. So See now they, I have a retainer, nothing, a 50% retainer, <clears throat> right. um, you know, which would be a deposit, but you know, you can refund a deposit. So no, yeah, loophole. I don't do deposits. Um, I, do, I do paid in full. I do 50% deposit at the mm -hmm. time of the booking. You don't get on my calendar unless you've paid 50%. Um, you have the option of paying in full, and I always encourage that. I'm an honest person. I will refund you that other 50% if you cancel, whatever. Um, but the, you must be paid in full within um, two weeks of your event. Uh, and, uh, the reason is, is because I know that I, I do have some, again, repeat clients, you know, mm -hmm. I know that that first Tuesday in August, I'm always working for one particular client and I know exactly what it is that I'm going to be ordering for them. Right. Um, sometimes they change it up a little and add a little, little pizzazz to it, but I know what it is I'm going to be doing for them. Um, and so they will, you know, book me sometimes six months out, just pay in full. They're, they're done. And yeah. um, I think but before they, COVID, I can't remember offhand a single person that canceled. It, it's I'm sure it it's happens. Happened, but I, it's very yeah. It's very it's very rare mm -hmm. that that somebody cancels after they paid. After they paid. Yes. Like, I yeah. After they like, paid in full. Um, yeah. But it's, you it's, say um, two weeks out, they have to pay in full. We often only get the party two weeks out. A lot of well, and that's, that's, and, and so that's, uh, and sometimes I'll give them a little bit of wiggle room, depending on what my schedule looks like. Like if I literally and depending have like nothing on, on my schedule. That, that week is. Like, yeah. What is it the, like, the, okay. The so second, one week. Right. Is it the second week of October that for some I have literally gone in and changed that door? on my contract. I've, I've done that. Like, you know, before I send it out to them, I'm like, mm, instead of 14 days, I want to give them seven days and, and yeah. change that on my contract. See, but I, I don't mm. even have seven, like we get a. Even before COVID, we got a lot of last minute stuff. We just, that mm -hmm. was just the nature. And of so, it. yeah, the 50% the yeah. though, more than covers right. their uh, material costs right. yeah. of their, um, of their balloons. And so, you know, it's, I'm, I'm never let them know that that's to pay for their balloons. And so if somebody were to we let them know. out, yeah. well, I don't because, yeah. you know, basically what Stephanie said is that, yeah. that, that more than covers the cost of their balloons. And so if they cancel on me, it, that's just, you know, I, I'm, I'm not necessarily really eating anything because the balloons are paid for and I have cash on top of that to help me for my, mm -hmm. my admin time. But, um, I'm covered. I'm in the black still on this job and I haven't even done anything yet. And I just added to my inventory. The only time I've had, had difficulty with that was if they order something really unusual and i wanted to say maroon but i know that there's yeah. enough people are hot and bothered over the fact yeah, that and you and you have, have to be and you have to be you have but... to be prepared for people like that was like that was a very good like client that i was lucky that they weren't like well it's not you know our problem that that you ordered the balloons like already but um oh but, I yeah like stephanie was saying like if they yeah like if they if they wanted the balloon i'd be like here you go like here's like, yeah still, well you have to still, you have to produce I still them. Have them yeah they are still yeah they're yeah. still here sitting here yeah it's for them Ooh. it's a retainer yeah. fee it's like you want to get on my yeah calendar, we call it um it, we call it a costs. holding a holding fee mm -hmm. so it's it's holding the date and once you once you pay that 50 percent, mm -hmm. then like that's that's it that's gone and we, and we have, um, there, there have been, you know, well, like I showed up 
at the door to do decor for a baby shower. And the, the father of the soon to be mother answered the door. I'm standing there with the hardware and my machine and everything. I'm like, hi, I'm going to set up for the baby shower tomorrow. And, and he's like, oh, she got into a car accident this morning and she's in the hospital. And I'm like, so don't worry about it. I will completely refund your money. And I hope that she is okay. And like, and that yeah. was, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I, that I had the, that I was there. I literally was up at the doorstep. And that's my, that's just something that I decided, like, how am I going to argue with that? Like, she's in the hospital right now. Oh, yeah, no, no, please don't worry about, you know, you're like, right, I, you want to be the person your, your that back. helps yeah. them, you know, provide solutions, not more problems, right? Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, yeah. So Jenny has apologized for taking us into the weeds. Um, <laughs> saw we with the, the W's, which we, we, we love you guys. We love, and I, I should have said it at the beginning of this episode too, is just a reminder, y'all, we, we really want to hear your comments and questions and stuff in the, in the chat. Um, and, uh, Jenny says everybody she asks it because yeah. of COVID cancellations and, you know, so, uh, spoiler alert, we're going to be talking about that more next episode is, um, yeah. COVID clauses and cancellations and things. Um, I want and, to uh, any... oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, and I, I did want to say that Jessica Zellman, um, Zillman, Sorry, totally mispronounced your name. Um, uh, she says she puts it uh, rosewood. That is, there there were several people that were jumping on the rosewood bandwagon. Ronnie, you're not alone. <laughs> it's such a beautiful color. <laughs> and she says she puts it with reflex RG, which I'm assuming is rose gold, uh, pearl yeah. peach, reflex gold, and rosewood together um, all the time. It's a gorgeous combo. It's it gorgeous. does sound absolutely yeah. lovely. And Jenny's ne tune in next week. So yay, we're gonna so have beautiful. one viewer next week. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> bringing us back to everybody though, I just wanted to ask, do you ever say you're totally booked? Do you ever tell people you cannot do what they want? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 And, you, I, and, I and, and usually, but, but usually it's because it's the truth and it, oh, it's always it's the truth. Almost, <laughs> yeah, it's almost, it's almost always, um, I think it's the first weekend. I can't remember if it's the first weekend or the second weekend of October, even, even during COVID. It was like everybody was having a, a birthday that weekend. I was running around like, like it was a normal year. I was busy. I had several jobs and like that, that weekend. And I was like, it's just like old times. And, and, <laughs> and then same thing with, you know, New Year's Eve. It's like, we're normally building stuff out four days beforehand. It's like from the, from the 27th up until the, the 31st, I'm delivering things and building things and and installing things. And it's like, I don't like, with the exception of this year, it shocks the heck out of me how people, these businesses will call and it's like, oh, hi, I know it's the, you know, it's, it's the 26th of December. Do you think that we could book something for New Year's Eve? And I have literally told nightclubs, you've lost your damn mind. If you think that you can <laughs> order something five days before new year's eve did you forget that it's new year's eve i was like no I, call next, yeah. call somebody else or call me next year say like new year's eve or even valentine's day i'm talking about yeah. a, a regular sunday that for some reason you're very booked do you like we never say no we figure out a way we hire mm -hmm. other balloon friends we we make it work again i'm not talking about new yeah. year's eve because that's different i would also say like yeah yeah yeah, like, did you just forget that it's New Year's Eve? Random yeah. Sunday in May, and you're busy. I mean, you have to exhaust all your options, like what you yeah. just said. If you can, you know, bring on an extra delivery driver, if you can bring on somebody who has help. But, I mean, it. I mean, there were some usually if it's COVID last, where... if it's last minute, like, yeah, I will only say no if it's like, like I just, I just can't. Yeah. If I get physically... that for well, you, well, last minute yeah. for me, I only ask for yeah. forty eight hours notice. So when a customer sends us a when a customer fills out our contact form, the expectation, and we set that, we set that precedence right off the bat, they mm -hmm. will receive a response from us within 24 business hours. Our business hours are included in there. But I asked for 48 hours notice. I carry such an extensive amount of inventory that I really typically don't need more than that. Mm -hmm. And if it's something that I don't have in stock, I make other suggestions. You know, I'm like, yeah. I, you know, unfortunately I'm out of stock of, you know, the yeah. purple unicorn, but I do have rainbow. I do have pink and gold, or mm -hmm. we can make a sculpture for you or something like that. Yeah. I always have a solution. Right. Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's and that's, that's, that what, that's what happened to me. That's what happened to me last week. It was like, they were like, can you get something today? And I'm like, 
yes, yes, I can. Cause they were like, we literally just want something that says, you know, uh, like I can't remember if it was a 50 or a 60. They were like, we just want something 60. And like, this is the price range that, that we're in. And I'm like, I can't turn that down. And so it was, you know, I was like, yep, I can definitely do something and have it to you by this time. And in my head, I'm like, why do I hate myself? And I'm like, oh, that's right money. Because, because, because I'm expensive. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go do this job real quick. <laughs> so it's something that I learned um, doing uh, restaurant work, right? Um, and uh, that's like my roots, y'all. So I'm going to keep calling back to that. Um, is that you want to try and never use the word no whenever you're dealing with yeah. your client. Mm -hmm. And um, if they are asking you to do something that you absolutely cannot do, instead of saying no, say, this is what I can do for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and give that's them a, options. Oh yeah. Give them options. Um, and so uh, there have been times thing. where I'm, I'm booked. Um, but I, I did want to point out that, uh, Hannah did say that, uh, like the customers who forget it's their kid's birthday. I think we've all met oh, yeah, the client are... or do you the know, wrong like, number, say they're going to oh, be, yeah. they're gonna be you know, I need something for his fourth <laughs> birthday and he's actually turning five. Um, yeah. and then, uh, Flavia has says that she, she also tries to work it out too, Debbie in reference mm -hmm. to you saying you always try. Yeah. It, it is, it's really important to be that guy that always pulls through for your clients. They're going to remember that. And, and yeah. even yeah. when I want to say no, Judy never left me. Sure we can. <laughs> well, remember yeah. a couple weeks ago when we did vision, vision boards and I had that, that balance table. Yeah. That, yeah. That's why you have to, you have to offer an option. You can say, mm -hmm. I'm not available. I don't have any more delivery options for this day, day before. but I can arrange yeah, a day pickup before. time for you. I can deliver mm -hmm. it the day before. Yeah. We do offer for an additional fee that I can bring it to you in the evening. If you're trying to keep it a surprise, there's always other options, right. but you can't Absolutely. just, you know, especially in the springtime, like I'm not going to miss a baseball game that my son's opening as the pitcher because somebody's calling me last minute for an arrangement. That's Absolutely. just, I, that's stuff I'm yeah. not willing to miss. If I'm just, that's my, yeah, it's, it's my, not my mom's birthday is, is, uh, right. is October 12th. Yeah. I don't do any, uh, uh, I don't do any deliveries on October 12th. Like, nope. Like you can yeah. have it the day well, before. I don't, I don't necessarily yeah. black out days for stuff like mm. that. But if it's, you know, if my business hours, it's, I can only do so many things within the time that we're open and I do have to have business hours. So yeah. if you have, if your whole entire day is booked up and you're delivering, and I usually try to get all of my deliveries done before noon. And then the afternoon is, you know, I take a half an hour lunch. I usually have my mm -hmm. kids home with me. We do that. It's prepping for the next day, answering messages that are coming in. I mean, it's a constant, you know, yeah, so you well, can't just yeah. be delivering oh, yeah. all day long. And then you're prepping yeah. until three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You have to have so, some sort of structure. Yeah. What were you um, saying about McDonald's, the McDonald's thing? Oh, a famous McDonald's thing is give them a pickle. That's like what <laughs> I, like I constantly in all the customer service trainings that I've done over the years, it's, we have this video and it's Ray Crack and he's like, give the customer a pickle. Like if a customer is asking you for a, an extra side of Big Mac sauce, give them the extra side of Big Mac sauce. Like, you know, give them a pickle. Yeah. So oh, that's funny. Try, it's just that's like, really funny because my biggest, like my biggest pet peeve is, is if a restaurant charges me extra for sour cream when I ordered a baked potato. Like I can't just have that. It's that little, it's that little, it's that little extra customer service thing. That's like, just, just do it. Yeah. I'm but you can't, you, so and you, anyway, have, and you have to have that. Balance, getting back yeah. to delivering. <laughs> yeah. Getting back to delivering. So we use an app. It's called plan my route. And it will, I can type in all of our addresses. So it's unlimited addresses when you sign up for it. I know that there's some other free options out there that you can do up to 10. Um, but so we type in all of our addresses and then this uh, app geographically coordinates all of our deliveries for us, which is why I give people a window. So it doesn't matter what time they came in. It's if I have you know, six deliveries that are going in this pocket and I have one that's all the way out there. I'm not going to go from here to here to here to here to here all over because someone's expecting their delivery at 10 a.m. I do also have a $75 minimum. I do charge delivery and we charge tax. So I know that somebody had messaged me about that the other day. Um, our prices do not include delivery. We do not do free delivery. 
Um, we base delivery off of mileage. Um, and right now our rate is 57 cents per mile. Um, that goes in coordinates with what I can write off on my taxes. Right. Um, so that will fluctuate with 2021 based on what the IRS guidelines come out with. Um, I do have a cargo trailer right now that we use for delivery and I have a large SUV. Um, for anyone who's watched our show before, you guys know that I, up until this week, have had two kids at home with me um, doing e-learning. So I do have to have them delivering with me. Um, my daughter, she's only four years old. She's still in a car seat. So that's why I have not uh, taken the plunge and bought um, the high top van that I desperately want. But the cargo trailer works out perfectly for us. If I have anything helium in the summer, it goes in my vehicle. Um, there's plenty of space in there. If I don't have my daughter with me, if it's on the weekend and my husband's home, obviously I can pull out her car seat. My seats lay totally flat. I can get more stuff in there, but the trailer has been amazing. Um, we were looking at a van. I was looking at some van and I was like, if I can't take two passengers, like if I can't take my assistants with me in one vehicle, then that 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 vehicle isn't that doesn't help me because what's the yeah. point of getting this big vehicle and then I still have to show up with two cars for three people um so that's something that's that's important to me when I'm looking for a delivery vehicle in the future yeah yeah and then lastly we always picture everything once done so if it's a yard art setup we picture it we send mm -hmm. it to our customer Always um, take a picture. Always, yeah. Yep. Always take a picture. So, um, <laughs> I didn't take a picture. <laughs> yeah, except for McDreamy. Um, yeah, if it's something that's time. porch delivery, always. I, 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 I can't yeah. stress that enough. Yeah. Every take a picture. single thing you deliver, take a photograph of it. Yeah. Because if yep. they say it went down or you forgot this balloon and really their kid dragged it in the other room, like it just, it will, you know, CYA people take a photo as soon as you're mm -hmm. finished take a picture of it and yep. look at yep. it because sometimes that's whenever you realize that you like you reverse the spiral that kind of thing hopefully it yeah up then. but always cya always take that picture uh, ladies we're we're really running out of time here um there's two questions that um i think we should answer real quick um one we touched on how many spares do you bring and how um i think i'm with ronnie uh i personally do not want to spend any time ever taking those five extra balloons and trying to resort them back into my thing. I take full bags with me or partially open bags. I never like take like a handful of balloons with me. I just grab the and whole I bag used with to. me. It's, it's the, here's the mm -hmm. problem is that I, because of my own, you know, terribleness, whatever, I used to just take like, oh, I'm just gonna take like a handful because it's like, it's, it is ridiculous for me to take an entire bag of balloons as my spare for pre-built columns. But what has happened is I have a, a, like a giant bag right now that when I get home, I take my oh shit bag and I just kind of dump everything into it. And I go, I'll separate those out later. No, I won't. I'm not oh, going to no. do it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to read You guys don't just take them happen. and put them right back? No. Well, you no. have to put the, <laughs> wait, you, wait a second. If no, you're taking I don't. the whole bag with you, you still have to take the bag out and put the bag back. You don't but I'll, I'll, do, I'll do that. that. I, yeah, I will take, I will take that whole bag green. and put it, put it back in the bin before I'm going to sit there and go, yeah, like white, green, white, oh, green, white, green. And that's, so, <laughs> and that's, that's one of those because. Mine just go in jars. Mine one of our bad. viewers like, is actually yeah. sorting their balloons right now from that. She says, oh my God, that's what I'm doing right now. LOL. Yep. I have, um, I have a huge just, bag. I have a huge bag. If you bag have that and, big yeah. of a bag, I'm going to tell you guys It is a time saver. Just, just. If you have that big of a bag and they need to be sorted, dump them into a bin and make sandwiches out. <laughs> Okay. Here's what I, here's what I, I want to do. I want to, I do want to, I, I have them all separated because in, in my mind, one of these days, somebody is going to call me to prank their boss and fill their boss's entire office with balloons. And I'm going to take that bag for, and I'm going to go, you can have this many balloons. 
and, and like I really want right. to do that and I'm going that'll be perfect because they're all the ones no. that I never wanted to I never as soon as I as, as soon as I <laughs> as soon as I separate them, it's it's yeah. one of those things not everybody all my latex is, is in jars yeah. so I just take my thing and yeah, mine are mine are still in their in their bags in their, in their drawers. So mine yeah, in their or drawers. I have yeah, or I have a storage container in the trailer that it has like all these little drawers, and I'll just throw the purples in there, and then that just gets added mm -hmm. to my on hand repair kit. I mean, I have a pretty well stocked repair kit yeah. in there. Yeah, I so know. yeah, I, I wish I wish that I I wish that I could I wish that I could just take like. I know that I'm not going to need more than like four balloons. If yeah. something, if something needs to be fixed, I got to take the whole bag or else it will never get no, put away again. Let's say, if it's just, let's say a party, Paul, I will take four of this before then. But if I have like a whole party that I'm doing, it's the whole kit goes in. Oh, well, that's so, different. If you're doing a whole event, I have like, hold on. Yeah, no, even this. just for my deliverables, for my, I, my I bring the whole bag because 10, I'm not going to sit yeah. there and the, the amount of time it would take me to sit there and sort these four balloons go here and these four balloons mm. go there and these three balloons go there. It's not worth it to me, but I can so take if that, I have a that whole, bag and just boom, boom, boom. And I'm done. Right. Yeah. If I have a whole huge thing and if I'm doing a huge arch and multiple columns, then yeah, then I'll mm -hmm. throw a bag in there. And then this yeah. is, it gets pulled for this. So yeah, that's what this, I, that's, that's how I have this mine is, what is, is in, um, is in that, but it's a, it's a bag. Um, and all of my bag, I do the same thing. Like if, as soon as an order gets put in all of the, all of the, the bags and the mylars and everything that I, that I need for that gets separated into that bag. And then I know like, this is for this party. This is for this party. This is for this party. And then that way, and, and the reason I did that is for those weird weekends that we get every now and then where it's like everybody and their mom is wanting something on this day for whatever it's like we have that one day in the fall and we have that one day in the spring and i want to make sure that i have everything and then i can just grab that bag and go okay these are the bags that i need for these jobs and i know that i have enough inventory for each of those uh for each of those jobs and then all of that gets gets put so back and yeah also get even though i have a bag in my car you know a kit with Fair things mm -hmm. and whatever. That milk Just crate. say it, Debbie, an oh shit kit. Okay, you know. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, aren't you all proud of me? I, I didn't hear that. What was that? <laughs> an oh shit <laughs> kit. Doesn't that <laughs> anyway, but I still in the crate, I'll put a roll of mono, a, a, a duck, tail, whatever I need for that particular yeah. stuff. Goes in that milk and cream. a little green hand pump. I keep my little. I didn't uh, pre-COVID. I didn't worry about it. I just mouth inflate the balloon. Yeah. But I've Mine got happens my, to my be, little uh, green... rain themed today. But yeah, the, these suckers, <laughs> man. <laughs> you go one. Them. You go to one job without a pump. You will never forget. I have uh, two extra in my car because uh, the nightmare scenario <laughs> where my Legenda didn't work and my green pump broke. And I decided not to take my filbert that time. And I didn't have a balloon. Thank goodness. It was just like the last 10 minutes of the party. But I, I learned how to mouth inflate real quick. Uh, I went to a restaurant twisting gig. I was new. I went to a restaurant twisting gig without my pump. And I might have told you guys this story before. Ooh. But never again. And that's the one thing that my husband razzes me about every time I walk out the door. Do you have your pump? And I'm like, yes. Don't ever. <laughs> Don't ever stop <laughs> razzing me about that because I right? will never walk out the door without a pump again. Um, and my husband tries to give me, he tries to give me a hard time for having that extra green pump in the car. He's like, you're not even going to do a job. Like you leave my, you leave it alone. It's yeah. not in your way. It's not, you leave it in there because if, if something happens and it's not in here, I'm going to blame you first. And you're going to be bringing me a pump to whatever <laughs> gig I'm at. Uh, so you just leave it alone. We have a pair of scissors and a pump that just live in the Jeep and a pair of scissors that live in the suburban. Cause so if we're doing Re a job, that's that, uh, that, that's, that's big. I have a big, oh shit. Bag. Rebecca Ham says she's a whole bagger too. So represent, yeah. um, Ooh. and, uh, <laughs> you're, you're my kind of people, Rebecca. And whole baggers. The whole, yeah. the whole bagger. Now, I like if it. I would only... take a whole bag of balloons, it would be an unopened bag of balloons. I am not going to open up another bag. I, I no, open I... up a bag and empty all of my balloons into a jar. They're all separated by colors. If you yeah, are so I have, I high volume still in, in, uh, in, in the bags, if you're mm -hmm. so high volume, 
like what Stephanie's doing, where she's taking that mm -hmm. and she's putting what balloons she needs into the thing that you can't have. And you, you know, say it's white balloons. You can't have like 15 of those envelopes with a full yeah. bag of balloons in there. With a whole I, bag of balloons. I totally yeah. understand that. Again, mind you guys, this is what I do in my business. I'm a lower volume decor person. And to me, it's just, and then I know myself too. I've got mm -hmm. a pile of I'm gonna's over here and there's another yep. pile of I'm gonna's over there. <laughs> and there's probably like, about I'm four like piles of I'm gonna's. Person. It just like there's glitter in my shop right now, and I'm like, I cannot wait to get out the house. I can go vacuum. I'm like, yes, yeah, stop yeah. it. Let's talk about job prep. Let's go. I want this glitter off my floor. Yeah, but I will so, like vacuum, and then I like go over with like a wet wipe. So like I cannot stand <laughs> it. I had a confetti yeah. explosion. We're starting over zero days since our last confetti explosion. Oh no. Uh, so Dory <sighs> says that um, Rebecca. Uh, said that that could be to Rebecca that that could be a t-shirt I'm a whole bagger it could. I'm a, a whole, whole bagger I don't know if you know this I'm a whole bag <laughs> right. but I would uh, like to know then what I would be considered loose is that what my shirt would say <laughs> yeah no, let's not go I'm there <laughs> So Stephanie and Debbie are loose, I mean, like and <laughs> Ronnie and Lisa are whole baggers. <laughs> <Jessica. laughs> oh, see how quick she's changing her no, team. Do, do we need to do we need our own disclaimer now? <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh. Of the week. Yeah. So um, I just I gotta read you guys the the comments here. So Jessica says that she always took the whole bag, but now her assistant will just do a little bit of each color into a bag. It only I only let it fly because she puts it away once the job is done. I don't have an assistant, so yeah. if I had an assistant I, to I, do that bit, and it and yeah. it was cost effective. I found that for me personally, it was not cost effective for me to be sitting there going, is this black or is this emerald yeah, green? green? You know, is, is it, yeah. is it, you know yeah. it was not cost effective for yeah. me to do that. So whole bag in it. Um, and uh, Kareen Tom says so she's a whole bag or two. Never knew if a bag was a bad batch and just needed the best of the bad. Need to use the best of the bad. I understand that now. Got yes, it. Yeah, I, I, get I totally it. get that too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Dory says, Ronnie, you're all that and a bag of balloons. Aww. <laughs> Are you paying her? Is she sucking up to you? Right. Um, so yeah. TikTok. So that's what does she have on you? There. What does she have on you, Dory? <laughs> so um our, and and if we could just answer really super quickly because we've gone over and we still have to do our wonder mm -hmm. of the week. Um and it's a good one. It is a good yeah. one. Um, building on site versus transporting. I transport as much as transport. possible. I, I want to do that. Now. I, used to, I used to build on site because of the fact that everything that we were doing was so massive and we had the time to be able to do it. So if I was building something for a convention, I'm, I'm allowed in that convention center the day before I might as well just take my time and build that, you know, a hundred foot of organic. I'll give you that. The a little bit different because yeah, they give you but, access to a room where you can just make it all happen and they show up the next day yeah. and you're done. But now, but I want to drop like, and we're, dash. We're booking. Yeah. Like yeah, we're booking for things sure. now. And once it hits a certain point, I know that I'm going to rent a U-Haul for it so that everything can be pre-built. And I'm, I, I now want to spend as little time as possible on site. Mm -hmm. And it also makes it so that if my delivery and my, and my pickup are on the same day, it's perfect. Cause I only have to buy the U-Haul for one day and I go drop everything off. And then I load everything into the U-Haul, pop everything in there, sweep it out. And then I'm, I'm done. I can't wait until the day when I can have my own, you know, well, so we were big, thinking of big vehicle so I could do that all the time. Because in the yeah. summer we needed to rent one a few times. I figured out how much I would have to rent it in order to for it to be worth it for me to buy it. We have two mm -hmm. Pacificas. Judy has one and I have one. That thing holds an entire yeah. 35 yeah. parapole arch. Just yeah. yep. I can, yeah, in the back of our suburban, um, I can fit 300 fully inflated 11 inch balloons. So it's gonna be a long time till we actually buy a van because mm -hmm. I, it, I would have to need it every day of the week for it to pay for me to buy one now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mine is I, going to be next, in my the next, spring. My next thing is going to be, is going to be a, a trailer. I, 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 cause I told Dave about how Stephanie, how you have a trailer 
And I'm like, you know, the Suburban has a tote. Like we can, we can get an air conditioned trailer. I'm like, it doesn't even have to be air conditioned. Anything. I put a tow hitch on my Kia girl. Yeah. Well, our, our Jeep doesn't have the tow package on it, but the Suburban already has it. So it's like, all I need is a cute little trailer with my, like, I can put like, here come the balloons, you know? (laughs) (laughs) A lot of delivery. So that's why you, you would need a cargo van. We don't do that every day. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I, like I today, love, I, have I love doing everything delivery now. So, so yeah. It's, yeah it's a lot. So, um, Stephanie, mm-hmm. why don't you go ahead and do our one for yeah. the week before we head into so, our outro? I was going to say, so speaking of um, uh, building on site versus transporting, um, this was completely built on site by our wonder of the week this week, which is Crystal Rutten. I'm so proud of her. Um, I am going to. Uh, show you guys a picture of the beautiful uh, work that she has done. Is that gorgeous? The prop is that's it the proper amazing. way? Yeah, that's yep. That's, okay. Uh, um, so this was done so at, good. At, at a Amazon so distribution center, obviously for um, Martin Luther King Day, and it is an overlay. Uh, Crystal did this all by herself, and so just stunning like the most exquisite design I've ever seen. Um, Amazing. And thank she you. I had not, park. Oh, absolutely. As, mm-hmm. as she does with all of her designs, but I'm so thankful because I had not seen this yet. And Steve Jones was actually the one who brought this to my attention. He's <clears> like, <throat> did you see the gorgeous piece that Crystal did today? So um, keep, keep it up, Crystal. We love you. We love your design. This is my yeah, it's great. And she did a COVID great. arch with little needles on it. That was also just so cute. Hmm. Am I upside down now? Under. You Not are sideways. sideways. I'm sideways. sideways. Yeah, you mm-hmm. are. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. There right. you go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was um, awesome. Not just so movie. yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, we, that's great. Um, just like we just shared with Crystal's beautiful piece, if you guys have a beautiful piece that you've done, if you have overcome an obstacle throughout your work week, um, you know, anything that you have really had to kind of pull something out of your hat or you've gone above and beyond, we want to hear it from you. So please um, send us in your wonders to floatworkingwonders at gmail.com. Um, the ladies and I will look through them. And then we would love to recognize one of you on our show. Yes. Yay. And then also like, I wanted to uh, remind everybody that the stuff that we are talking about, like the way that we do stuff, that, you know, the, the, the way that we keep our inventory and the way that we do, that's all the way that we are doing our own businesses. We're not telling you, you have to do it that way. There is no standard way that, that you have to do it. And like, we hope that you find this information helpful, but there it's it's not saying you absolutely have to do it the way that we do it (laughs) and i want to tell you that you're all so lucky because this week you get to see us not once but twice we will be (laughs) friday we'd like you to join us at 12 p.m eastern standard time when we will get the big reveal of some of the instructors afloat not all of them but i think we're up to eight new instructors maybe there'll be more by friday and um, you should make sure to stay tuned to the float network all day long because there's going to be surprises. I think she said even something about a contest. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing Lots you all on Friday. Nice. And wear your t-shirts. Yeah, uh, we will be. We get to show off our, we get to show off our shirts. Yeah, right. don't forget if you've received your shirts, uh, post a picture, hashtag <laughs> I am float. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, please join us next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, our special guest is going to be Mary Ellen Rison. Um, she is a business t- attorney, and we are going to be discussing COVID. Glo- Let me try it again. We're going to be discussing COVID clauses and contracts. Um, we'd like to thank you guys all for watching tonight. You guys have been really active in the comments. We so appreciate that. Lots and lots of love going out to Crystal Ruton. You really knocked it out of the park, yes. girlfriend. We That's really appreciate sure. it. Um, and just a reminder, guys, Working Wonders is not just us, it's you guys. Um, and it's not just who we are, it's what we do as a balloon community. Um, so you guys rock. We love having you guys here every week and we look forward to seeing you next week, okay? So, yay. Bye. 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 Bye.